Good morning, folks. It's rare to catch a comet on Soho and it not be a sun diver, but that's what we see cutting up to the right. We're going to watch this sped up a number of times to make sure you catch it, actually visible on C3 cameras as well. Definitely a previously unknown comet. Got a CME chasing him off screen to the north there, and since it's still alive after that pass by our star, let's nickname him Ice Fire. Anyway, we're moving on to spaceweathernews.com and looking at the last 24 hours on our star. And boy, that's calm. Just the features turning. Next corona hole incoming from the left is the big one departs to the right, and the lack of solar flaring activity at the spots is due to magnetic spread. The red and the blue just not interactive and preferring to be on opposite sides of these sunspot groups. The solar wind remains intensified due to the now departing coronal hole. does look ready to be calming down a bit, however, after producing an initial storm and reverberations. Again, Karuna registers preposterously more severe localized events. Recall that the comet survivor did have that CME chasing him off to the north. I expect the CME to hit 1 AU and couple with Earth longitudinally as the equatorial coronal hole faces Earth coming in from the left. While it is much smaller than the departing southern opening, this is the lead of the north, which dominates about half the entire solar surface at the moment. Before those ramp earthquakes back up, however, we've got two volcanoes to report, a submarine event in Tonga, beautiful, and La Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. Often we see this before Pakistan takes a hit. Anyway, enough of this planet. Let's go to the ESO and fly to galaxy clusters and much more about 5,000 to 8,000 light years away. They call it the cat and the lobster. Rorschach might ask what pet they have or what they had for dinner last night. Truly, though, between opposing flare streams, star lines, and bow shocks, there is a ton to see in their high-res still images, including Kenny from South Park near every super bright star. Ten points if you find them. Anyway, we're now coming to an ESA story about rapid bursters. These are stars that create tremendous X-ray stellar flares, but they come out of nowhere and dwarf what our star can do. Well, they say it's the same material being eaten by the star causing flaring that we've seen many times across the universe, but the periodicity appears to be related to a cavity carved out by stellar magnetic fields, which slowly builds up to a snap, collapse, eating of the gas, and flare. Yeah, but eating comets won't cause flaring, huh, NASA? Anyway, sorry for that frustration. We're in Iran here. Really? You gotta be kidding me. Folks, this is one of the hottest countries in the world, and while snow is no stranger to the northern mountains, this is a bit out of control and deadly. Top weather stories today include high pressure clearing most of the U.S. while the Pacific Earth spot begins battering the West Coast. UK? I hear that first round was a little rough in some places. Get ready for at least two more today. Also concerned about flood risks in Uruguay and southern Brazil off that convergence line coming from the South Atlantic Earth spot. Folks, we are just a few weeks away from observing the frontier 2017. There is little in these circles that beats a bunch of observers getting their learn and their discussion on. If you wanted VIP, we've had some cancellations, so email cat. We've also got pressure and radar forecasts here, a null school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.